Hey folks, Dee here, and welcome to another episode of Glam for the Gown, where I design a unique makeup look for a specific ballroom dress. I'll discuss how I design the look, and then I'll show you how to do it. Not just the eyeshadow, but also the face and the lip. And we'll also talk about some new techniques right along the way. And if you love fun looks like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned afterwards, where we'll do a little meet and greet with this lovely lady right here. Well, the, the, the dress, I mean the dress. You've already met me. The dress I have here with me today is called Neon Spree, and it's by Designs to Shine. It's simply gorgeous. And we'll actually do a little bit of Juno Birch later on. Maybe just a little bit of a look, yes. And she's a gorgeous, smooth dress. Look at this. Look at this. With some amazing color in it. It's one of my favorites. It's a combo of two of my favorite colors that dresses can come in. And the way it's put together is so unique and so fun. Make sure you stay tuned for the review because I'm gonna show you some little Easter eggs on the dress that are just really, really stunning. And we'll get to know her a little bit and maybe she's right for you. So I guess with that being said, let's get started. There's so many feathers. All right, so got my face on, got my primer on. Let me talk a little bit about the face. So the highlighter I have on is kind of an unconventional highlighter. This is kind of something I've alluded to in other videos, something that's not quite the usual copper or gold or champagne colored. And this is kind of the fun that I really like to have when I have a really cool color scheme like this. This is actually a Becca highlighter and it's called Opal Flashes Jade. This was actually a special edition that they had for a while, so I think it might be out, but there is a dupe for it. And it's actually in the Jeffree Star Northern Lights palette. And it's this one here called Alaskan Ice. It's a beautiful pink that flashes kind of like a teal blue. The Alaskan Ice is a little bit lighter than the Opal Flashes Jade, but that's okay. But that's what I've got here where you have almost kind of an icy blue and it nicely flashes that beautiful like pinky magenta -y opal here and it goes over the blush really really nicely so that's what I have on here on my eyes I don't know if you can tell but my primer is a little bit lighter so that's the P Louise again and it's in shade one the reason I'm using a little bit lighter of a primer is I'm going to be working with white eyeshadow today. That's kind of one of our big topics and we're also going to talk a little bit about glitter mixing. So let's get to it. So first things first, as always, we're going to create our transition shade up at the top. So today for my transition shade, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Vapor. It has a little bit of a blue undertone with it, but it's also kind of a warm eggshell. So that's what I'm gonna use to create my transition shade. As usual, I'm just gonna grab a big fluffy brush. And remember, a transition shade is something that we're doing to kind of almost set the upper part of the primer so we have something to blend the color into. So as you can see on the dress, we have a couple of colors here that I really wanna highlight. And I'm gonna be using colors that have this minty green to it greenish blue. I really like how the stones are a little bit more blue and the appliques are a little bit more green so we're gonna play with that. And then we have this beautiful like orange coral neon bodice and bodysuit and so that's gonna be part of it so we're gonna use this mint color and then this coral color. And for both of them I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. This has both of the colors in it. It also has a bunch of other ones. I really like this palette. As you can see, it has a really fun color story in it. So we're gonna be using these guys down here, this blue and this mint, and we're also gonna be using this bright coral up here. If you want to use something other than the Thirsty palette, you can also buy dupes of them from ColourPop. ColourPop is a great brand. They sell little pressed pigment singles. And this is just a palette that I popped these guys into. And so this is uh, triple zero. And this guy, see, they just pop right out. This is Muscle Beach. Just, just 
like down here in LA, Muscle Beach. Because the coral is kind of the biggest color on the dress, I'm going to use it rather sparingly. So I'm going to use it for a little pop of color sort of in the inner corner here. I'm going to go all the way up to my eyebrow and I'm going to sort of frame the lid with it, okay? I'm going to take a smaller, denser brush. Just going to pat it in. I'm going to start here. Press it in. I'm going to take it all the way up to almost right by my eyebrow. I'm going to blend it out just a little bit. Same thing on the other side. And remember, if you have hooded eyes like I do, make sure to check with your eyes open that you can still see the color above it. so editorial right now. Next, I'm going to take this mint color and I'm going to use it on the outside and also kind of frame this middle part. Because I'm trying to be a little bit exact, it helps to just sort of press it in and pat it and blend it very, very gently with very short motions. Blend it very, very softly at the top. You don't want to mix or make any like purpley colors, so just be very, very gentle. I'm just taking a little bit of this blue and I'm just pressing it into the corner. Next, we're gonna do the white in the middle. The reason I'm doing white is to bring out the brightness in a lot of these crystals. The white will give it a little bit more of almost like a fairy light quality. And that's kind of what I think I wanna go for with this one. For white shadows, I really like using the Alyssa Edwards palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This white and this black, if you need just shadows, I mean the palette is worth it just for those shades alone, let alone all these other beautiful ones. So I highly recommend this palette, it's amazing. You're gonna press it, go to the middle of your lid, press it in. Do not brush. I'm gonna go all the way up. We'll blend in a second. Right now we really just wanna get a lot of pigment. If you went over into the lid with the other colors, just press the white over it, but make sure never to scrub. Now you're gonna take a clean, fluffy brush and you're gonna blend the edges very, very gently. And when I say edges, I mean edges of the lid shape and then edge of the white right up here. Now, to accent the white, I'm going to do some under eye white liner in my waterline. I'm going to do my bottom liner with this fun Marc Jacobs Stiletto.
It'll add a little bit of darkness without making it too dark. Get all the way to your outer corner, but don't bring it all the way in. Set it with a little bit of that mint color. I'm just gonna pop a wing on using my MAC brush liner. I'm not going all the way to the corner of my eye and I'm not gonna make a huge wing because I want the glitter that I'm gonna put on to really do a lot of work. So again, because I think that one of the things that will look really nice I want to bring a little bit of brightness to it and not in the neon way but in the light colors so even if you have really deep skin the white shadow and then this glitter I'm going to use which is lit cosmetics spark I really want to bring out the lightness and delicacy in this mint color so that's why I'm using the white it's why I'm using the light glitter I really want to bring out the brightness and delicacy in these appliques. Just gonna use the lip glitter adhesive. What I really like about Spark is it has these blue and green reflex. And I'm only gonna put it on that white slice of lid. As you get close to the border of the colored eyeshadow, try not to drag your brush around or else you'll collect the eyeshadow and you'll pigment what your glitter has. so much you can do with it and this kind of color combination is just something I just live for and I love a good mint glitter however I kind of had to make my own so we're gonna talk a little bit about glitter mixing I took these two guys this is go golf in Hawaii 5 from lit and I mixed just a tiny bit half and half in an extra little pan so you can kind of see how it matches. And what I want to do is I want to add just a little bit on the corner and I want to add a little bit on the bottom right in the center. that. 
If you ever get a little chunky guy like that. <laughs> you can just gently flick him off with the brush. Don't grind into it, just very gently flick him off. I'm gonna put just a little bit here and here, right underneath where my iris sits. This little splash of glitter kind of highlights the glitter on the top and it also draws attention to where your iris and people is. I'm gonna use my aqua seal on that bad boy. There we are. We can still see where everything is blended. We have our glitter on top. Have our little red editorial here to match the bodysuit. See, I can point in the mirror. Yeah, yes, I can. We have finger goes this way <laughs> to match the sequin appliques and some of the really fun, like little extra stones and tidbits we have in here. But all right, let me pop some brows and some lashes on, and then we'll talk about the lip. Be right back. So remember, we do a chill lip and we do a fun lip or an adventurous lip. So for the chill lip, again, I kind of want to bring some brightness to it. And I want something that is warm, but actually has some silveriness to it. And so that's why I want to use this Urban Decay. This is Gubby. And it's actually pretty pale. This will look good on any skin tone, whether you're super fair or super deep and we're just gonna apply it lips are so jam so it just adds a little bit of sparkle. It's nice and shimmery, so it kind of goes with all the stones, but it doesn't take away from the depth of color that you see, which is kind of what I was going for. I don't want something too bright because then it's competing with these big pops of color up here. And the shimmeriness will actually complement the glitter really nicely. So for the adventurous lip, I've got this, but I'm actually just gonna put a top coat over it. And I wanna use actually this awesome minty Fenty lip gloss. This is single. So it adds just enough color to be kind of fun. When you do a top coat, you wanna be really gentle on the product underneath. So there, there's still kind of that warm pink underneath, but we just gave it a little bit of a blue tone over it. So I realized I actually forgot to highlight my eye. So you remember that Jeffree Star palette that I was talking about earlier? I'm gonna go back and use Alaskan Ice on my inner corner and then just underneath my brow. So now we have a super fun look that'll go really nicely with this dress. It highlights the big color tones on the dress, but it also brings out a lot of the brightness, the delicacy, the femininity with a little bit of sparkle. These color highlights will look great on any skin tone, and it's just looking to kind of complement all the super fun stuff that we have going here. I just love this color combination. So now that we're fully made up, you can leave it like this or, or, if you're feeling a little adventurous, this is something you might be able to get away with. And again, it's getting away with it, really. Um, some judges might not like it, which is fine, uh, but you might like it. And if you like it and it makes you feel good while you're dancing, then you should do it. So 
I love Juno Birch. I was relatively recently introduced to Juno Birch. I hate to admit that, but I'm in love. If you don't know who Juno Birch is, look her up. But I think this dress, because of this beautiful mint that's in here, I wanna do a little bit of fun color contour. So we had like our fun color highlight. Let's do a little fun color contour just in the cheeks here. So we're gonna add a little bit of shape to the face, but we're gonna do it with some color. I'm gonna go back to the Thirsty palette and I'm just gonna kind of brush a big, fat, fluffy brush. You want a fluffy brush because you don't wanna to get too much pigment. And we're just gonna kind of brush it back and forth between these two guys, okay. Tap it off because we want to have powder control. And then I'm going to use this mirror. We're going to basically just do it like we're going to do contour. Let's just see how this works. Yes. Yes. I'm here for it. Yes. It's just me getting some excess powder off. Remember, you don't want to go too low on your face. And the reason we don't want to do it down here, just brush it on my face, is if we put it down here, then the color difference, it will look a little bit like a beard. So you don't want to do that. So we're only going to put it up here. And so this is reasonable doubt that it is contour. And then to kind of carve it up a little bit and add a little bit more color so it looks like it, what it's supposed to be, I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with the brush that I used for bronzer. And if you see from a distance, my face is still sculpted, but it definitely has that blue tone in it. And remember, just don't do it down here. And of course, just for funsies, to make sure that it looks like what it's supposed to, I'm gonna go in with this Jeffree Star. I've always wanted to use this one, Mint Condition. Take that same smaller chisel brush and I'm gonna go. Now that's fun. All right, welcome back for the meet and greet. Again, this is Neon Spree by Designs to Shine. Am I wearing the most ridiculous thing? Yes. Am I comfortable? Yes. So there's a handful of things I wanna show you on this amazing dress. But first, I wanna tell you a little bit about the structure. So we have our two primary colors, right? We have this beautiful orange coral and this beautiful blue-green and a lot of people wouldn't ever think of these things that really go together, but look at how beautiful these look together. This is one of my favorite dresses. I just love seeing it. It's so unconventional. 
And that brings me to the first thing that I think is really important. And it's that this dress is gonna do a really good job of grabbing attention of judges. So if you're at a point in your dancing where you kind of want to stand out, you're feeling comfortable, you really sort of want to catch eyes now, maybe you're in a new category, or maybe it's your first competition and you really want to start it out with a bang. Or, you know, there's something else that's kind of taken a turn. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more vibrant and want to adventure away from something that, may, that is maybe a little more muted or has jewel tones and you're up for something new. This is that dress. So here's a couple really cool things about the structure of the dress. We have a really nice low neckline, but it's gonna hold you in. Solid straps, you'll feel really secure. These cutouts are really nice and they're gonna highlight your waist really well. So that's really cool. And if you have a tiny waist, it'll really make it pop. If you don't have a ton of shape, maybe you feel like you're really flat, this will give you a really nice curvy waist. Also, this is cool. I love this because the design structure of this is just genius. If you can see this, you have this little cheeky peaky, I like to call it. And the dress is a full circle skirt, but if you can see, it's attached here, but it's kind of just draped, and the panty is underneath it. That's so cool, because that means this whole skirt is gonna move around the bodysuit. So it's going to have your movement carrying it, but it's also gonna have a lot of independent movement. So it's gonna be really, really cool, and it's gonna behave in a really cool way which is accentuated by these feathers that are at the bottom. Love these feathers. There's a couple different colors. We have a light mint, a mid mint, and then a little bit darker of a turquoise mint at the bottom. And you have all these gorgeous stones at the top to give it a little bit of weight. It swishes so nicely. The back straps are an ombre, so you're starting at your crystal AB. You're going through an aquamarine AB, and then you're going into the light turquoise here. And this little keyhole cutout, it's really, really cute. And so it's actually going to give you a little bit more eye drawn to like the tightness of the waist here. So again, whether you have kind of an hourglassy waist or not, this is really going to give you one or it's going to highlight it. Because if you see the structure of it, all these points are coming together to create this central figure. So it's really drawing the eye in through your shoulders and it's bringing you to the hips. And there's actually not a ton of decoration, but it's beautifully placed is the thing. Quick view of the sides. So we have these nice big cutouts, like I said, and all of this empty space is gonna be great if you're sweaty like me. And the, again, the more you look at it, the more you're gonna discover. So again, this is Neon Spree, and I hope she finds a home soon. All right, folks, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I want to thank Brent Mills for contributing the music for my channel. You can get some links down in the description for his Music Mills Studio software and his ballroom playlist, where you can get new ballroom music sent to your inbox once a month. It's awesome. And I want to thank Carly so much for all of her help with tech and editing. And you guys, I want to thank the most. Thank you so much for watching. I couldn't do it without you. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And remember, come back soon again for your daily dose of vitamin D. It's good for you. All right, folks, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.